Hello, my name is Brett from Bearded Man Studios, and today I'll be talking about the Networked ID. The Networked ID is a unique ID that's assigned to every simple networked model behavior derivative whenever it has been successfully instantiated on the network or set on the network so that it can start sending its networked data over to the server. So I'm just going to go into my demonstration scene just to show how everything's currently set up. I have my spawner script. It's just a simple mono behavior and it, all it does is do networking, instantiate my example simple networked mono behavior. I set it to all buffered so any clients joining thereafter would also in receive this instantiate. And then on my Networking Manager, I made sure that I have a prefab attached to it in the Network Instantiates. The Network Instantiates has my example simple network model behavior prefab with the script attached to it. It's just a simple create game object and then I just slapped on my script and then I slapped that into the prefabs folder and then that made my prefab. That's how I did that. So I'm going to go to the Forge Quick Start menu. And then I'm going to check my canvas, make sure that it's set up to the current demonstration scene that I have made. I'm also going to make sure that the file build settings, uh, you would do that on your end, and make sure that the current scene is also added to it. And then from that point on, I want to start beginning the networked ID to showcase what that it is a unique ID attached to every single uh, networked instantiated object. So I'm going to go to my script, and I'm just going to start typing debug log networked ID. Hit save. Go back to Unity, let it compile. Hit play. Host. And as you can see, my networked ID is 2. Now keep in mind this is a unique ID, so if I go to my scripts again and go to my spawner, just copy and paste, so I'm going to create two example simple networked mono behaviors. I'm going to hit play and let it take its time compiling. There we go. Host server. And you'll see two and three. So that means if I have a client join at this point, you'll see four and five. So to see that in action, I'm just going to go file. Whoa, hit play again. There we go. File, build, and run. Hit play. So I'm going to make the Unity editor be the host, and I'm going to make the executable be the client. So I'm going to hit host, two and three. Now when this client joins, you'll see four and five. So join server if above IP address. And as you can see, four and five. So that is how you get the networked ID of any simple network mono behavior derivative, and you are able to use either the player's owner ID or you can use the networked ID to send specific logic to that client, player, or however you so choose. So I hope that this has been helpful. Thank you for watching, and if you have any questions, feel free to leave them down in the comments below.